hello guys welcome to my channel today I'm gonna show you how you can upgrade your unify access point to the latest firmware version using win SCP application this is applicable if you are unable to upgrade your unify access point to the latest firmware version due to the old firmware version present on them so let's get started First, let me show you that I have the latest firmware version, which is 3.7.29, according to the controller 5.3.8. So you will have to download an application, which is called WinSCP, and also Puri. I will leave a link in the description for both the application. Once they are downloaded, you will need to open WinSCP application then make sure to select the file protocol as scp and put the host name that's the ip of your unify access point which is in my case 192.168.0.106 and put the username and password If your access point is already adopted, you will find the username in settings, sites, device authentication, username and password. You will need to type this info to win SCP to access point and then click on login. Once you are in, in this window, on the left hand side, you will see the files and folders which are available in your computer and on the right hand side you will have the access point panel so you will need to access to the root folder of unify access point so you will need to click double click on the two dots here click on it until you get to the root folder and then double click on the temp folder once you double click you will see these files in the temp folder so now what we will need to do is we will need to browse to the firmware which we have downloaded to download the latest firmware you can go to UBNT download website and download the latest firmware as per your access point model once you have the firmware file downloaded you will need to navigate to the file and drag that firmware file over to the temp folder on your access point so in my case i have downloaded it on my desktop for example purpose i have downloaded the 3721 firmware version so i will drag this firmware over to the access point panel once I have that I will need to rename this file as FW update dot bin in case you have uh, existing FW update dot bin file you can just delete that and rename this file as FW update dot bin once this is done you will need to open Puri application once the Puri application is open you will need to SSH into the access point by using the IP of it and click on open and you will have to log in with the same username and password once you have successfully logged into the access point using Puri or you have successfully SSH into the access point then you will need to type a command so that we can push the firmware to the access point and it can update I will leave this command in the description as well so you just need to copy that command and 
paste it once you do that just hit enter and it will lose the connection for access point and it will take about 10 to 15 minutes for your access point to be upgraded now as you can see that my access point has been upgraded to 3721 firmware previously it was 3729 that's all for now thanks for watching my video if you like my video leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more